start with a little water. It's cold. Throw my brush in it. Get a bit of white, a little bit of blue, a little yellow. Get some nice grays down really fast. That's it's cold. White streak through there. A little thicker paint. Bottom here. Just laying in a few colors. I'm going to use some ultramarine and red. It's going to be a little dark up there. A little yellow, ochre, more red. Mixing right on the path on the board. There we go. Got some phthalo scene in there. Keep moving across, a little dark cloud here. It's a little bit dark, so I'll add a little white to it. Let it set there. Another one coming in here. Mountains coming up here. Water. Just laying in some of the colors. Some vertical strokes to the mountains, give them some height. Pull down some ochre to the hills. Just responding to whatever I see. Lizarin. Get some of those poplars in there. Tree up there. Change brushes, keep things clean. Take a little white, a little ochre. Get some water in there fast. You can hear the wind just howling. A little bit of light at the bottom of the mountains here behind the tree. I'm gonna rub that with my cloth. Expose a little bit of the color underneath. There we go. Get some pure white on there. There's a silhouette of the mountains coming in now, so I'm gonna silhouette them in white. You can see that coming up here. Mount Ida in Salmon Arm. Quite a bit of white over here. There's that water again. So on the mountains. A little bit of clouds coming up here. Water's a little grayer over here, so I'll pick up a little bit of the blue for the mountains. Throw it in the water. We don't have too much time because it's cold. A little more pure blue here. Just gonna throw a little bit of the pure blue in. Even though it's gray, there's still a lot of hues. Pull it down. I don't want to lose that line there. Pull it down here. The blue's mixing in with the grays that are underneath. We'll leave that for some snow. And then, same brush, a little bit of blizzard and crimson. Add some reds in there. Blend them up a little bit. Pull them down. Wiggle them in. Back to the old big brush. Create some gray with a little bit of the yellow. And pull in a little bit of green there. Just at the bottom there. Okay, good lay-in. Take a little of that dirty color, add a little more over here, a little darker, a little more white, come through there, I want to pick up a little bit of the green and the grass, another brush, 
fence posts here. The road has a bit of a violet cast to it. I'm going to go dark to light and I'm going to bring the road right through here and then gray it up probably with the other brush here. There we go. More of a, probably a fir tree. Add a little more in there. And fence posts. A little bit here. And now I've got to clean a brush because it's time to put in some clean colors. So I'm going to wash off my brush and quickly pick up a nice green. I've only used really three colors, the primaries. A yellow, an ochre. Here, this is the uh, darker green. I'm just going to use a couple strokes there to pick up some bright greens. And I'm not too worried about what it looks like. More getting some tones in there. Fence post a little green. Put a couple in here. And we're just about done. Because it's cold. Clean off the brush again. Add some really dark. I'm going to use the alizarin crimson. The ultramarine. A little bit of ochre. And a smidge of the phthalo. To get some darks into the... The fur is quite dark in there adding some darks over here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, December, cold. A little more over here, a little bit in there. A little fiddle in there. A little ridge coming over here. I think I'll add that. A little hop over. Gives a little dark accent there. It's got a little green in it, so I'll just take some pure, work it in. Stayed a little bit longer, maybe five more minutes, and added a few alterations. Made the fir tree stand out a little more. Left out some of the other mountain and kept that one. Added a little bit of white here and there, a little bit of orange. 